And our lead story tonight, it's really something that hits home for so many of us. Crime, it's happening in areas that are supposed to be safe. Yesterday, one person was shot outside of a local community center. A short time later, another person found dead outside of a center where kids were playing nearby. 10 TV's Richard Solomon is asking city leaders tough questions tonight about what's being done to keep your family safe. Richard. Yeah, Andrew, on top of working with Columbus police to having multiple cameras at every single park location, the Columbus Recreation and Parks Department is determined to make sure your family is safe by also keeping your kids busy. With every splash and cannonball. We're going to start compressions in three, two, one. A safety net is not too far away. Before they're qualified lifeguards, it's a week of training for Mahari Bowles. Why not trying to learn more how to keep people safe? He already has his summer plans figured out at a Columbus Community Center. Spend my summer saving people instead of just watching people get saved. But it's also keeping him safe. Instead of being out in the streets, they could just stop at the pool, pay a dollar, get in, spend all day there. The headline of the latest park shooting shocked many. A 16-year-old boy shot near the Linden Community Center on Wednesday. Bulls is 15 and doesn't want the fun he has at parks to be tainted. Our parks are safe. We're asking people just to think twice about when they're coming to a park to do some criminal activity. This is why Director of Recreation and Parks for the city, Bernita Reese, says it's important they have measures in place. How do you keep the area around the park safe? We have uh, our interventionists that work with our youth development program, and they, we are throughout the city of Columbus making sure that people understand we're partnering with the city of Columbus police. On top of that, she says there are multiple cameras at every single park in the city. That includes the 22 mobile cameras and lights the city installed last year. Reese tells me this year they're hiring more than 300 teens for work this summer, just like bowls. Well, summer is a time where if you don't have anything to do, they'll find something. And so we're trying to do those things. You might just see bowls lifeguarding at a pool. He just hopes others dive into something productive. It can occupy us time. It could be beneficial. And Reese tells me all parks have resources to tend to whatever the need may be, whether that's physical or mental health related. Andrew.